Hey y'all, in today's video, we are going to be putting new peel and stick vinyl floor planks on our hallway. And then I'm gonna share with y'all a cheap Christmas dinner that we had today because we had some ham steaks, we had stuffing. So I figured let's make it Christmas. <laughs> the Thanksgiving just ended. So Aaron is starting this for me he's gonna do the first one because he had to make some cuts and then i'm gonna do the rest down the hallway so i hope y'all enjoy this video if you like diys uh home updates decorating cooking cleaning shopping all the things then subscribe it's free and um you can hit the notification bell if you want to get notified every day that i upload <laughs> To settle down There'd be many nights I got too hot And almost left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk If this is your first time watching our videos or you didn't see when we bought the flooring, we picked this flooring out at a liquidation store called Ollie's and they sell all sorts of stuff, home goods, food, clothes, you name it. They probably have it every now and then. So we lucked out and got these for $21 a box, which is such a good deal because normally the traffic master boxes that we get at Home Depot have gone up to $56 a box, which is just a lot. So we were so happy that we were able to basically buy three boxes for the price of one. So, and it only took about a box and a half, I would say, to do our hallway. So I'm just going to continue doing this. And then I noticed that there was a few more staples that we hadn't got out. So I started to try to get them out, but then I ended up getting Erin to help me because I have no hand strength at all. Everybody singing, oh, everybody singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. Baby, let me love you. Alright y'all, after a couple of hours, we were done. This is what the floor looks like. We're very happy with it. And I am thinking about getting some baseboards to go down to cover up where they had the carpet because it was nearly impossible to get the carpet out from the 
under the walls. Because supposedly they put walls, they put the carpet in first and then they do the walls. So, if we can't get it out once we're done doing all the carpet, then we're just going to cover it up. <laughs> so, I'm in the kitchen now. I did take a little break, but now I'm getting uh, dinner started. And because we had ham steaks, I figured let's make a cheap Christmas dinner. So, you could eat this on Christmas or you could just eat it throughout the Christmas season to get all festive and stuff. But it's pretty affordable because we just did ham steaks and uh, the box macaroni and cheese that you add the powder with, the mashed potatoes that are like $1.25. Um, we did a box of stuffing and it's a generic brand so it was only probably a dollar something as well. Uh, we always have butter and oil on hand anyways, all of our seasoning. I'm trying to think of what else I did. Oh, I grabbed some eggs that we already had and I made a few deviled eggs. And we already had a can of green beans. And we already had rolls. But if you don't have rolls, you can just use regular bread if you've got that. So, if I had to guess, this is well under 20 bucks. And although me and Erin did eat one ham a piece, I had some left over. Um, realistically, th that could feed three or four people, the two that we had. So you might just need three if you have like a family of five because you can cut them in half and they're still pretty good size. And especially with the rolls, uh, we make like little sliders with them. So that's what I'm planning to do tomorrow with the leftovers is just have a little ham slider with some of the um, sides that we have left over because the only side that we ate all of was the eggs and the green beans. So right now, I did not know how long it took to cook stuffing. So I went ahead and did my butter on the casserole dish. And then I decided to go off of the microwave directions. So I added some water in here and the butter that it said to add. And then I stuck it in the microwave for one minute. So normally it says to just do it for five minutes. But I did still want that crispy brown crust at the top so we just did one minute long enough to kind of warm it up and then i just had it cook in the oven with the green beans at 375 for the whole time that i was cooking and i would say it probably took me 30 minutes to get dinner done so that's about how long it took in the oven so i cut out about 20 minutes by putting it in the microwave first and erin taught me that hack whenever we would make like lasagnas and they take an hour in the oven. If uh, if it was getting close to dinner time and I had forgot to put it in the oven, we would always just put it in the microwave for like five to 10 minutes. And it, it helps it kind of speed up the process. So if you're ever crunched for time, use your microwave, even if it's just for a moment and then stick it in the oven. It will take a lot less time to cook and you'll still get that oven baked flavor and texture versus just doing it in the microwave. So because I didn't really need a 13, 9 by 13 pan, I just put the green beans on the side. And then I'm putting complete seasoning in here and it already had butter. So I just uh, decided to go with that. I think I might have put paprika. I did. I put some paprika on the top of the, oh my goodness, I'm sorry. I'm having a blank. Stuffing. And um, you can see the noodles boiling away over there. I didn't tell y'all, but I added some salt to that. And I added um, oil to it as well. Just a little bit. Just to help the noodles not stick. Especially the cheaper boxes of noodles. They like to, they like to stick. So I always do oil and salt. And then when I was boiling or doing my eggs, I put a little bit of salt in there too. And my eggs peeled so easy. I was amazed. So I will put salt in the water every time I boil eggs from now on. And I did let them cool pretty much completely before I went to peel them. And I think that helped. And so now I'm just straining our macaroni and I'm going to leave that in the strainer for a minute and I'm going to come over here to the stove and I'm going to go ahead and put some butter in here, milk, 
And then the powder packets, I ended up using two powder packets versus one. So this may not be super realistic, but I really wanted it to be cheesy. And whenever we just use one powder packet, it's not that cheesy. Uh, so I did two packets of powder and then one box of noodles. And that worked out. And I also, because I, I do it differently than the directions say, I normally will do it just like you would do mashed potatoes where you put a little bit of your seasoning and your milk and sour cream or whatever you put in there and then you taste it and then you add more if you need to. So that's what I was doing. Also, I kind of just went off the texture like I added a little bit more milk because there was still more powder. So once I thought that it was kind of good enough, I went ahead and got the macaronis and put them back in there stirred it tasted it came out fine so i just left it as is and i moved it to the back so that we can get started on our ham In each of these pans, there is about a tablespoon of butter. I don't think I needed to put any butter in with the ham, but why not? Butter is amazing. So these are Smith Smithfield Anytime hams, and they were on sale uh, the day that we bought them two for four. So $2 a piece. If you cut these in half, you could feed four people a dollar per person if you get them on sale. And I'm pretty sure you could get Smithfield even at like a Walmart. So depending on where you grocery shop, you should be able to find these on sale a lot of the times. And Foodline even has their own brand. That's It has the, the eye in it, the bone. And those could feed, one of those could feed probably three or four people easily. So I love that this is like, a, a really good deal. I did have brown sugar, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. We just like to get them a little bit brown. So that one's Aaron's. And then I always end up cooking one of them too long. So the one that's in the pan now is mine. <laughs> but I've got the yellow parts of my eggs in this measuring cup and I put some mayonnaise in there. I put some spicy mustard in there and then uh, onion powder. And I'm also gonna put in some banana pepper rings because we were out of relish. Well, we hardly ever buy relish, but um, we didn't have pickles either. So I figured, you know what? This is pickled, pretty much. It's got the vinegar and stuff in it. We'll use this instead. And I actually liked it. So I don't know if you're a weird woman like me and you like to try different foods. Let me know if you try it and you like the banana rings in your, in your stuff. <laughs> I'm the only one eating the, eating those anyways. Oh, okay. So I also put garlic and herb seasoning in there. That's fun. I already forgot. And I filmed this like an hour ago. <laughs> so I'm just mixing it up now. I'm going to fill my little eggs. And then of course I'm going to top them with paprika. Y'all know. I even pulled the hot sauce out because I thought, well, I might eat it for this dinner. And now that I'm thinking about it, hot sauce would be really good on a deviled egg. I don't know why I've never done that before. I love anything. Uh, I love to put hot sauce on anything. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so for the deviled eggs, the ham, rolls, stuffing, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, green beans, I think that's everything. Um, this came out to $11.45, which just for Erin and I is only $5.72 a person, 
which, you know, 10 years ago probably still would have been a little bit expensive, but nowadays it costs $30 to eat at Taco Bell. So <laughs> this saved us money just by eating at home. But if you split this up between even three people, that's only $3.18 a person. And if you split it up between four people, it's only $2.45. Of course, you're probably going to need more than two deviled eggs. But the case of eggs we buy at Food Line only costs like $3 for the whole thing. And you get a lot of eggs. I'm pretty sure you get 18 eggs in that. So overall, it's still a really affordable meal let me know if you make meals like this um if you do them for christmas what type of meal do you do i would love to know so after i got done eating and erin got done eating we put the leftovers just back in this casserole dish it's only the two of us so we may do things a little bit differently than you do if you have like more people eating that you know, might not want your fork touching their food, but Erin and I, you know, we don't care. <laughs> so we just kind of do whatever makes sense to us. There was lots of mac and cheese left over. So we have lots of leftovers and I'm going to get those covered in aluminum foil, stick them in the fridge, and then we're going to get started on this cleaning of the kitchen because I'm not going to bed with a messy kitchen. So I hope this motivates you to also not go to bed with a messy kitchen if you can. I have a hack for you. Erin also showed me this. I, when I tell y'all that Erin kind of helped me grow up, even though I was already an adult when we met, I mean it. Like, he's helped me learn how to cook, taught me all sorts of different things, and I so love him for that. So, he puts rice in his salt shaker to make it sure that there's no moisture and the, the salt never clumps up. So I figured I would sh share that with y'all in case you didn't know that hack. Making spirits bright What fun it is to laugh and sing A slaying song tonight Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells Angels we have heard on high Sweetly singing o'er the plains And the mountains in reply Echoing their joy strains We are wrapping up this video. I wanted to thank you for clicking on it today. It means so much to me. It really means like everything to me. Um, Y'all have truly blessed us. So tomorrow I'm going to go to the store again at Dollar Tree and get enough peel and stick towels to do the remaining of the backsplash. And I'm going to take it all the way up to the ceiling next to the window. 
I can't wait. So, uh, as long as I don't have a sponsored video going up tomorrow, that is the next video that you can expect. Okay, y'all. Bye.